Human Geography, Wikipedia Article Audio Human geography is the branch of geography that deals with the study of people and their communities, cultures, economies, and interactions with the environment by studying their relations within across space and place. Human geography attends to human patterns of social interaction, as well as spatial level interdependencies, and how they influence or affect the Earth's environment. As an intellectual discipline, Geography is divided into the subfields of physical geography and human geography, the latter concentrating upon the study of human activities, by the application of qualitative and quantitative research methods. Geography was not recognized as a formal academic discipline until the 18th century, although many scholars had undertaken geographical scholarship for much longer particularly through cartography. History Fields The Royal Geographical Society was founded in England in 1830, although the United Kingdom did not get its first full chair of geography until 1917. The first real geographical intellect to emerge in United Kingdom's geographical minds was Halford John Mackinder appointed reader at Oxford University in 1887. The National Geographic Society was founded in the United States in 1888 and began publication of the National Geographic magazine which became, and continues to be, a great popularizer of geographic information. The Society has long supported geographic research and education on geographical topics. The Association of American Geographers was founded in 1904 and was renamed the American Association of Geographers in 2016 to better reflect the increasingly international character of its membership. One of the first examples of geographic methods being used for purposes other than to describe and theorize the physical properties of the Earth is John Snow's map of the 1854 Broad Street cholera outbreak. Though a physician and a pioneer of epidemiology, the map is probably one of the earliest examples of health geography. The now fairly distinct differences between the subfields of physical and human geography have developed at a later date. This connection between both physical and human properties of geography is most apparent in the theory of environmental determinism, made popular in the 19th century by Carl Ritter and others, and has close links to the field of evolutionary biology of the time. Environmental determinism is the theory that people's physical, mental, and moral habits are directly due to the influence of their natural environment. However, by the mid-19th century, environmental determinism was under attack for lacking methodological rigor associated with modern science, and later as a means to justify racism and imperialism. Culture a similar concern with both human and physical aspects is apparent during the later 19th and first half of the 20th centuries focused on regional geography. The goal of regional geography, through something known as regionalization, was to delineate space into regions and then understand and describe the unique characteristics of each region through both human and physical aspects. With links to and cultural ecology some of the same notions of causal effect of the environment on society and culture remain with environmental determinism. By the 1960s, however, the quantitative revolution led to strong criticism of regional geography. Due to a perceived lack of scientific rigor in an overly descriptive nature of the discipline, and a continued separation of geography from its two subfields of physical and human geography and from geology, geographers in the mid-20th century began to apply statistical and mathematical models in order to solve spatial problems. 
Much of the development during the quantitative revolution is now apparent in the use of geographic information systems, the use of statistics, spatial modeling, and positivist approaches are still important to many branches of human geography. Well-known geographers from this period are Fred K. Schaefer, Waldo Tobler, William Garrison, Peter Haggett, Richard J. Chorley, William Bungie, and Torsten Hagerstrand. Development From the 1970s, a number of critiques of the positivism now associated with geography emerged. Known under the term critical geography, these critiques signaled another turning point in the discipline. Behavioral geography emerged for some time as a means to understand how people made perceived spaces and places, and made locational decisions. The more influential radical geography emerged in the 1970s and 1980s. It draws heavily on Marxist S theory and techniques, and is associated with geographers such as David Harvey and Richard Peet. Radical geographers seek to say meaningful things about problems recognized through quantitative methods, provide explanations rather than descriptions, put forward alternatives and solutions, and be politically engaged, rather than using the detachment associated with positivists. Radical geography and the links to Marxism and related theories remain an important part of contemporary human geography. Critical geography also saw the introduction of humanistic geography, associated with the work of Yi Fu Tuan, which pushed for a much more qualitative approach in methodology. The changes under critical geography have led to contemporary approaches in the discipline such as feminist geography, new cultural geography, demonic geographies, and the engagement with postmodern and poststructural theories and philosophies. The primary fields of study in human geography focus around the core fields of Economic Cultural geography is the study of cultural products and norms, their variation across spaces and places, as well as their relations. It focuses on describing and analyzing the ways language, religion, economy, government, and other cultural phenomena vary or remain constant from one place to another and on explaining how humans function spatially. Health Development geography is the study of the Earth's geography with reference to the standard of living and the quality of life of its human inhabitants study of the location, distribution, and spatial organization of economic activities, across the Earth. The subject matter investigated is strongly influenced by the researcher's methodological approach. Historical Economic geography examines relationships between human economic systems, states, and other factors, and the biophysical environment. Health geography is the application of geographical information, perspectives, and methods to the study of health, disease, and health care. Health geography deals with the spatial relations and patterns between people and the environment. This is a sub-discipline of human geography, researching how and why diseases are spread. Political Historical geography is the study of the human, physical, fictional, theoretical, and real geographies of the past. Historical geography studies a wide variety of issues and topics. A common theme is the study of the geographies of the past and how a place or region changes through time. Many historical geographers study geographical patterns through time including how people have interacted with their environment, and created the cultural landscape. Political geography is concerned with the study of both the spatially uneven outcomes of political processes and the ways in which political processes are themselves affected by spatial structures. 
Population geography is the study of ways in which spatial variations in the distribution, composition, migration, and growth of populations are related to their environment or location. Settlement geography, including urban geography, is the study of urban and rural areas with specific regards to spatial, relational, and theoretical aspects of settlement. That is the study of areas which have a concentration of buildings and infrastructure. These are areas where the majority of economic activities are in the secondary sector and tertiary sectors. In case of urban settlement, they probably have a high population density. Urban geography is the study of cities, towns, and other areas of relatively dense settlement. Two main interests are site and situation. Another area of interest is the internal organization of urban areas with regard to different demographic groups and the layout of infrastructure. This subdiscipline also draws on ideas from other branches of human geography to see their involvement in the processes and patterns evident in an urban area. Population Within each of the subfields, Various philosophical approaches can be used in research, therefore, an urban geographer could be a feminist or Marxist geographer, etc. Settlement Such approaches are Subfields include, marketing geography and transportation geography. As with all social sciences, Human geographers publish research and other written work in a variety of academic journals. Whilst human geography is interdisciplinary, there are a number of journals that focus on human geography. These include Subfields include, electoral geography, geopolitics, strategic geography, and military geography. Urban Philosophical and Theoretical Approaches List of Notable Human Geographers Journals Subfields include, Economic Geography, Population Geography, and Settlement Geography. These are clearly not the only subfields that could be used to assist in the study of urban geography, but they are some major players. Notes